What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Hope everybody's having a great day or night whenever you're watching this. The Milwaukee Bucks like completely shocked the NBA world and made an insanely blockbuster trade going for Damian Lillard out of nowhere. That is, it has blown my mind. I want to break down why I love this trade for the Bucks and why the Miami Heat may have just had the worst offseason they possibly could have. Um, before I do, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. Please like the video, but let's break down Dame to the Bucks and why this is a magnificent trade. So Damian Lillard is going to do things that Giannis Antetokounmpo has never played with. He's never had a guy like Dame. This is the dude that the second he crosses half court, you have to pick him up because he's liable to pull and he's pretty damn good when he pulls. So the floor spacing with Giannis is going to be incredible, right? Drew Holiday, obviously, they had to deal him in the deal to get to make it happen. Grace Nouns, so you lost some shooting and some of what your identity was with Drew. But this is one of the greatest point guards to ever play the game and a consensus top two or three point guard of the last 10 years. Like, you do what you got to do to go get that guy to pair him with your two-time MVP on his way to being an all-time great, Giannis Antetokounmpo. You do what you got to do. And they did. They, out of nowhere, I did not have the Bucks coming in. Like, everybody's kind of... A, thought it was a foregone conclusion that he was going to be in Miami. All the hints, all the stuff with his with Dame's agent, Dame himself, everybody, including all of them, thought he was going to Miami. It was just a matter of time. And Milwaukee came in and was like, "Nope, we're gonna we're win now. We're trying to win a title. Damian Lillard's going to give us a great chance to do it." Obviously, they probably had a conversation with him. Hey, if we traded for you, would you know? Will you show up to camp? Will you come play for us? Like, we got a pretty damn good all time great player on our team. Like. We've won a title in, within the last few years. We're kind of like a new coach, kind of starting over. Like, this is a fresh start. And this is what you're looking for as well. You're looking for a fresh start. And you want to contend. We're offering all of that. And it sounds like Dame was like, yeah, I'll do it. Let's, let's go win a title. That's kind of like what it seems like to me. And while Drew is a very good creator and excellent defender, Dame is an even better creator. The attention he's going to draw, the gravity. People love to use the term gravity. People are going to have to make a choice now. Coaches, defenses, they're going to have to make a choice. Do I stop Giannis or do I try and stop Dame? Well, what's probably going to happen in that case is I'm going to go to stop Dame and then Giannis is going to go for 40 or 50 with 20 rebounds. right? Or I'm going to try and stop Giannis and Dame's going to have 36 points, 10 assists, and light it up from three. And it's like you, you're picking your poison. And I feel like in the last <clears throat> last couple of years, the Bucks, when you played against them, it was really if you kind of eliminated Giannis, you were in great shape. Now, not necessarily the case. That pick and roll with Damian Lillard and Giannis and Tedekumpo, I don't know what you do. You can hedge it and force Dame to pass out of it, but then you have seven foot Brooke Lopez waiting in the corner for an open three. You have Chris Middleton on the floor, and then you have Giannis rolling. <laughs> like, there's no good way to stop this. Nothing. Nothing you can do, in my opinion. That pick and roll with Giannis and Dame might be the most savage play in the NBA next season. So just looking at, like, duos between Damian Lillard and Giannis and Tedekumpo, and yes, we've never seen them play on the floor together other than the All-Star game. But, like, if you're if you're going to rank them without, without seeing them play, obviously, this is easily, like, top three, right, in terms of how we can project it. Top two, maybe. Maybe the best. Like, they're... They... Basically, what Dame doesn't do, Giannis does. And what Giannis doesn't really do at a high level, Dame does. That's You want a star. You want stars that complement each other and the fit. And I, I preach fit all over because I think this fit with, with Dame and Giannis is going to be incredible. But while it's incredible for the Bucks, in my opinion, it's absolutely terrible for the Miami Heat. This You let a contender, you let somebody in your own conference swoop in and take the guy that was saying hey i'd love to play for you please trade for me i only want to play for you please trade for me and you guys the heat played it too cool like they thought it was just going to be all peaches and roses and everything was going to go their way and the bucks did it reminds me a lot of Kawhi leonard when he was with the spurs to a different degree uh getting traded to toronto right i want to go play in la i want to go play you know wherever and then popovich sends him to a different country right but then they go win a title I see that very, very similarly. And the Heat had a chance when you have a really, really damn good player in Jimmy Butler who's aging and telling you, hey, I would just love if we could get me another it guy. 
we can give me another star here. I think we could actually win it. And you played it too cool. You you lost Max Struess and Gabe Vincent in free agency. Uh, you may have pissed off Tyler Hero in this process. I don't know if that's accurate or not. That's just me guessing because this guy's name's been thrown in trades for six months, it feels like, and maybe even longer. But So who knows how that relationship is because you didn't deal him. Now he's he's got to show up to camp like, oh, you guys didn't trade me. Okay. Well, well I know you were trying. Like it's it's that, that dynamic is weird. But I can't get over you let somebody in your own conference come in and swoop a dude up when the, the deal like was – very likely to be done. Miami could have offered probably a better package in terms of youth and stuff like that, like Tyler Hero, because Drew is a little bit older, and Drew may get dealt out of Portland, and maybe Philly goes for him. That'd be dope. But Miami really dropped the ball this offseason. They they fumbled the bag. They had the perfect opportunity to pair star Jimmy Butler with star Damian Lillard, and it they they just watched it go through their hands. That was that's pretty crazy to me. I feel like Milwaukee saw Boston go ahead and get Chris Tats Porzingis and try and load their team up, and you know Boston's kind of going for it all as they should be. And Milwaukee was like, okay, well if they're gonna get better, we have to get better. Like we can't stand Pat. We gotta take we gotta take a risk. You want to win titles, you gotta take a risk. They took a risk when they traded for Drew Holiday. It turned out pretty well. Yep, we gotta shoot our shot and go get Damian Lillard. Maybe we can win him over. We have a winning program here. There's too much to like in Milwaukee, and I cannot wait to watch this team play. That I I'm so caught up. Like I remember looking at my phone earlier today when I saw the news, and I'm like, no way. Like it seemed so foregone that he was going to be in Miami, and Milwaukee was like, now nah, we're going for it all, and I love that. Bucks fans, how excited are you for the trade? Heat fans, how are you feeling that it didn't go your way in this case? Maybe some of you are kind of relieved. I don't know. But if I'm a Bucks fan, I'm on cloud nine. I'm living it up right now. And I cannot wait for the NBA season. We got NBA basketball in like a couple weeks. And the Bucks just hit a home run before training camp. This is going to be so much fun. But anywho, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you enjoy this kind of content, please like the video. But Bucks basketball is going to be one of the most watched things in the NBA this year. But thanks for watching. I'm done. Peace.